Hello everyone. Today I want to talk about another indicator uh, called Shandai Momentum Oscillator. I have added this indicator to the uh, Euro US dollar daily chart. Uh, the reason is normally uh, for overbought and oversold indicators, I, uh, I don't like it to use you know, them on the shorter time frames because they give you heaps of uh, false signals. But if you can use them on longer time frames, you may uh, have more uh, success rate. So, um, it has two lines, or you can change the lines or add the lines, uh, you know, put them back up to 70 or 80, whatever you want, and also minus 70 or minus 80, depending on your uh, trading store, uh, style and you know by experience on the currency that you want but normally the preset numbers are 50 and minus 50 um, it means when um, it goes under minus 50 we are in oversold uh, area so it's a good time to buy so as soon as it crosses back up from minus 50, you put the buy position uh, or buy order. And yes, um, also on the other side, if you are above 50, it means that the market is overbought and uh, if you see that the indicator comes back below the 50 line, then uh, you can place your sell order. Um, yeah, this is very simple way to use it, and some people are more uh, more conservative, and they even. Uh, say that if it crosses zero line, but you know by, by that time it's gonna be a bit late to enter the market, so you may take a bit risk and put a nice stop loss uh, for your trade. Uh, to even to enter the market uh, earlier, you may combine this indicator with another moving average which I normally when use the you know uh, moving averages to get signals um, I normally use a period of half between half to you know a third of the main indicator so the main in indicators uh, preset is nine so I've gone with five so I plotted uh, MA5 here at top of the uh, Shandai Momentum Oscillator. So when the Momentum Oscillator goes below MA5, then that's a good signal to sell when we are in overboard territory. Or if we are in oversold territory area, then we should look at the crossing above MA5 to enter the market. So by looking at this uh, chart, you can see here it gave us a buy signal, even, even a few days back here, uh, one day back, sorry. And here we had an uh, we had a sell signal again here buy um, 
but now you'll notice that uh, we don't have that much false in the uh, false signals maybe this one if you enter here you still can catch the profit and if you use the trailing sub loss and uh, or then you may even close this one in profit but let's have a look at the shorter time frames even four hours if you go to four hours here you see a signal to sell again here sell so some other sell so you know this one is good good sell this one is good buy but uh, the shorter the time frame goes if you are going with the preset numbers for the uh, Shandai momentum oscillator you get more false uh, signals uh, or I can say you know the uh, indicator gets uh, very noisy so that's why I prefer using uh, this uh, overbought and oversold uh, indicators like Shandai momentum oscillator on uh, bigger time frames as discussed uh, on daily uh, time frame but the thing is yeah, you should be patient so if you can't just go in the market and okay open it uh, open it trade every day if you're working on daily charts uh, imagine you had a, an opportunity to enter the market on 19th of February then the next one is next month which is 9th of uh, March so you should be patient uh, when you're working on longer time frames I hope uh, you learned something today uh, have a nice day and happy trading